different countries, different uh, regions, cities, uh, to present their works. Very exciting. I'm very much uh, looking forward to see these uh, and uh, listen to these presentations. And I also want to welcome everyone in this room who come to attend this event. I think this event will be very exciting for me. Uh, why we plan this event, I just want to say two words. Actually, there are two things on our mind. One is a more practical. Basically, we just want to learn from everyone. We heard so much about the different projects in different museums, galleries, curatorial, scholarly projects using digital te technology to present works of art, to study works of art. So we want to learn about these plans, projects, exchange information, exchange methodology. That's one very practical. The second one is broader. It's basically after years of working on this kind of digital project and working with the different people, we begin to sense uh, the emergence of a new field, a new discipline, and uh, across different existing disciplines. So connecting our history, archaeology, museum studies, and many other science, technology, all together because we share similar problems. We are doing similar things. So we sense the beginning of this emergence of this field. So we feel this kind of uh, conversation, exchange may contribute to this field, emerging field. So that's basically I, I, what, what I want to say. Now I want to introduce uh, Dr. Kasi Jiang, Deputy Director of our center, to say something about the center, right? OK. Hello. <clears throat> I am extremely happy to welcome you to this international symposium that we organize for the advancement of digital exhibition of cultural heritage. I'm especially excited to be back in Chicago as a host of this event as I've been um, communicating with our participants from Beijing these last few months. Um, digital technology makes so many things possible. Digital exhibition of cultural heritage is a growing field, as Wu Hong has said, around the world. It's not only global, but so much interdisciplinary. Um, <clears throat> so we are delighted to invite a truly international group of experts um, who work with digital methods for displaying cultural heritage, content, and um, methods, and, and for engaging audiences in museums, in classrooms, and at cultural sites <clears throat> around the world as well as online. We bring this group together, as Wu Hong says, to share and learn from each other's creative methods and to present, um, to learn to present to um, broader audiences. Our center's um, projects have been involved in digital recording, archiving, imaging, website creation, and exhibition for, for two decades, but we still have we still feel we have much to learn um, as new technologies and applications are <clears throat> being developed constantly. We have a very full program to today and tomorrow, so I'm limiting my remarks. Before um, we begin, I'd like to acknowledge some people and institutions uh, that have made the activities of our center possible. Um, First, I'm delighted to see an old friend, Mr. Ralph Wenger, here. Mr. Ralph Wenger has had an active interest in Chinese art and has been a supporter of our center's activities, our publications, and our students, welcoming them into his home um, for years. So thank you for coming, Ralph, today. Our center is very grateful to the Cyrus Tang Foundation that um, is supporting our uh, DCADP project in recent years. Um, and <clears throat> we're happy to see um, members of the Cyrus Tang Foundation staff here today, Vera and Jimmy. 
um, <coughs> who and very pleased that they could join us as well. I, th I thank our center staff from the bottom of my heart, Carol Enghi, Greg, Pensiera, and Akari Rokumoto, who have been absolutely amazing in the, in the effort and positive energy they put into um, getting this event <coughs> put together. Also, Ellen Larson, who is a postdoc scholar here, affiliated with our center, and Danny Huang, a graduate student who've also helped with many arrangements. Finally, many thanks to Emily Smith and Logan Connolly of ISAC um, for facilitating this event at Breasted Hall. We're very fortunate to be part of the university, a larger community here that is supportive of our work. <coughs> now to launch the event, Professor Wei Zheng Lin, director of the DCADP initiative, will introduce aspects of our center and digitizing projects. <coughs> Excuse me. Wei Zheng teaches in the Department of Art History and is a specialist in the history of Chinese art and archaeology with a focus on the medieval periods. He will give us a brief presentation and then <coughs> the first panel we will begin moderated by Dr. Adam D. Smith, associate curator at the Penn Museum and lecturer in East Asian Studies in the School of Arts, University of Pennsylvania. Adam's research focuses on Chinese paleography from early China through the medieval period.